And shares of Microsoft have gained 50% this year as they've taken a huge lead in the AI race. But now some competitors are hoping to catch up by teaming up. Julia Borston literally joins us now. Welcome with more on this new alliance led by Meta and IBM. That's right. They're calling it the AI Alliance. IBM, Meta, Intel, Oracle, and about 50 other companies as well as academic and research organizations are teaming up with a focus on making AI open source. They'll, quote, develop and deploy benchmarks and evaluation standards, tools, and other resources to enable the responsible development and use of AI systems at global scale, including the creation of a catalog of vetted safety, security, and trust tools. They're also talking about addressing social issues with AI as well as educating policymakers on regulation. Open source powers the world's most critical infrastructure. And you talk about interoperability, you know, through open source, it allows people to build very diverse set of applications and interoperate because to some degree, it's become the modern way to have interoperable standards is to do it by building together through open source. OpenAI and Microsoft are notably absent from this consortium on the heels of criticism that Sam Altman's startup is actually not so open source. Um, I also have to point out that Google and NVIDIA are also not members of the consortium. Hmm. But this alliance say they want to ensure that AI is not controlled by just a few stakeholders who can license out their tools. So why isn't Google? Part NVIDIA, I could see... OK, maybe, but but it's interesting to find Google not joining this with Meta. So and Google and Microsoft have both said they don't think AI should be open source. They want to be able to have their own tools and their own sort of playbooks and their own systems that they're they're licensing. Meta is making this entirely open source. And interestingly, I, I talked to both Meta and IBM about this. And I said, how is this new alliance going to impact your business? How is it going to impact potential revenues? And both of them said, hey, we were already taking an open source approach around our AI investments, what this, do this does is just ensure that we're all working together so that the software and even hardware can really be interoperable. What, is, what does open source mean in this context? Open source means that they're basically sharing their information about how they're approaching these problems. Obviously, AI is about this huge wave of technological innovation. What they're saying is, let's all share uh, enough information that we can have my tools interact with your tools. So they're not speaking different languages. And, and, and to be clear, Microsoft and Google have said Said, we want to have our own walled garden. Well, yes, for instance, I mean, but yeah, that's how business typically works, right? Um, business is typically not open source. If you think about how pharmaceutical, um, the pharmaceutical business works or other tech tools, but this they're saying is such a technological leap that they want to open source it. And, and Meta in open sourcing its AI tools has been a little bit of an outlier compared to the Microsofts and Googles. Give me an example from the history of either social media or uh, the internet of open source that worked? Well, I would say typically things are not open source, right? So that's just not usually how it works. What, what Meta is saying here is we're gonna share, we're gonna open up you know, the doors and let everyone see the way we're using our AI tools so then people can, can borrow from them or make sure that their, their apps are effectively built on top of our language. All right, Julia, thanks. Great to see you. Thanks for being here.